Uh, and even if they see it in person, rarely do they get to drive it. And these speak to people on an emotional level. But cars that speak to people even more emotionally are cars like your first car. Your first car is like your first love. My first car was a 1973 Toyota Corolla. In America, we call that a shitbox. <laughs> and uh, that car, pardon my uh, language, I am a developer. That's okay, uh, that's okay. <laughs> that car, I bought for 250 US dollars. A dog had chewed through the seatbelt on the passenger side. The post was broken, so whenever somebody sat in the passenger seat, they looked out the window. It smelled like fish on hot days. It stuck going into first gear. It was truly a horrible car. But I really loved that car because it was my car. And it was my ticket to freedom. It was my ability to get out of the city. It was my ability to take that car to university. And as I traveled around, I found that that's very common, that people have a car that they're kind of ashamed of, and yet they actually love that car. Now, we have hundreds and hundreds of cars in Forza Motorsport. There are over 500 cars in Forza Motorsport 4, and we'll do 10 cars of downloadable content add-ons every month. But the reason we have hundreds of cars is not because I expect you to collect hundreds of cars. I want you to find the 5 to 10 cars that really speak to you, that really matter to you. And that's why we have over 80 manufacturers. The reason we have more manufacturers than any other game is because that ensures we have the diversity around the entire world, different types of gaming culture, different types of car culture. And that's what this game's all about, uniting people, different people, a lot of diversity in an inclusive experience that gets them thinking about cars in a new way. So in Forza, you can play what you want. Play with a controller, play with a wheel, there's the new wireless speed wheel that will be out around the same time we ship. And you can also play with Connect. Now Connect is integrated in four key ways. We have Connect Driving. And that's great if you've got kids, I've got twin boys, so they're, they find this very complicated, they're still very young. But they can actually use Connect Driving to sit on the couch next to me and play split screen. Which is great, because what I want is to get people thinking about cars in new ways. I want to create the next generation of car lover, and I can't force them to love cars. I need to entice them with fun experiences. Now, Connect is also integrated for more core players, players that love Forza. You can do Connect head track. Now, that works uh, using your head as basically a way to look into the, into the corner. So as you move your head, subtle movements to look at the edge of the screen, or as you lean. It looks at the apex and can power through the corners. We have Connect Voice Hyperlink. Now, if you're familiar with Forza, you know that Forza has a lot of front end, a lot of user interface. So that means we have six levels of painting, and we have all this tuning and upgrading of community. And with Connect Voice, you can say, Xbox, paint car. And it will save your work down the tuning area, back you all the way out, and take you into painting that quickly. And it's a way of using Connect to open up the game to even our most core Forza loving players. Now what I'd like to show you next is Auto Vista. Now I'll demo with controller because it's easier than having me stand in front of you and show you uh, things you don't want to see. So instead, I'm going to connect to uh, do with controller and I think you'll understand basically how it works. So we'll go to AMG LM SLS. Uh, that car is in gray back there. And unlike an Auto Vista, you're not going to be able to get in that car. So here's how it works. I can lean to my right, I can lean to my left, move around the car, can back up, really take the car in. You can even move up close, crouch down, go in really close, and look at all the details in that car, the brakes, the like. But it's a lot more than looking at the car. You know, we're really bringing the car into your living room. And what would you want to do with the car? You can reach your hand out to connect and open up the door. <laughs> now the cars we selected here are cars that I don't expect all people will know. In fact, most of these cars they'll never see in real life. We have cars in here that most people, unless you're a real petrol head, you're not going to know what the hell it is. But they fit together with all this amazing technology and history and anecdotes into a larger tapestry that hopefully gets people thinking about cars in a new way. Now part of that is make the cars very interactive. So obviously the car is open all over the place. Now this allows me to move around, lean in close, really check out the details around the engine, around the intakes. You can see the carbon fiber, see all those details. 
But around every car, there are also points of interest where you can get more information about the car just by reaching your hand out and touching it. Le V8 de 6 litres 3 est comme 579 chevaux. Il propulse la voiture à 100 km h en 3 secondes 6 et permet une vitesse de pointe de 317 km h Now some of these points of interest are more informational, like that of the more technical. But we also entered into a long-term creative partnership with Top Gear out of the UK. And the, the goal around that was to, frankly, provide more humor and levity and more context around the cars. Forza is known for its accuracy, for its credibility, for its authenticity. But that means at times we can be a bit dry. But by adding Top Gear, you're learning more about cars and hopefully introducing the cars in a new way. This is not just the greatest car Mercedes makes. Right now, I think it's the greatest car in the world. It's more powerful than a Ferrari 458. Just, it's a little bit louder than a Lamborghini. And it's way more fun than the 911 RS GT Turbo 3X or whatever this week's ultimate beetle is called. <laughs> Obviously, Jerry's got opinions about the cars. That's what we wanted. We wanted to provide that kind of context. Now, these cars fit together as, you know, it's equivalent to having Ralph Lauren's garage in your living room. These are cars that are very rare, and as I mentioned, that car you're not going to be allowed to open up the door or get inside. Really check out all the details with the stitching and the carbon fiber and the aluminum. And you're not going to be allowed to reach down and start it up. So hopefully this experience is opening up cars and opening up games to a whole new type of player. Gamers that find this intimidating, but think cars are cool. Or players that are actually familiar with the controller, but don't know anything about cars. And this starts making them think about cars as a work of art, as a piece of technical mastery. 